Hey friends, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we are going to debut a new set tonight. We are going to have some crafting fun and this may be kind of long, but that's okay. If you're watching on replay, thank you for watching. I appreciate your support and hopping on to watch me and here comes some people. We're going to have some fun. It's Thursday night live. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yay. Hey Peggy. Let's see, I need to make a comment and I don't know if it'll let me. Hang on, I'm gonna try to, here we go. I'm trying to make a comment, guys. There we go. And I'm gonna see if I can't pin it at the bottom. And it won't let me, I'm trying to pin this comment, guys, I'm sorry. No, hold on. There it goes. There it is. Hey, hey everybody. Hey Lenore, hey Bertha. <clears throat> hey, if I miss you. I was trying to pin that at the bottom. Um, that is my link to go to Stacy's shop where this cute shirt is and some stuff that we're gonna be using tonight. Um, I'm gonna be using a little of her stuff. I'm gonna be using a little of my stuff and we're gonna, um, we're gonna make a bunch of fun stuff. Um, so this may be a long one. I'm not intending it to be, but it may be. So I don't know. So I hope you're comfy. Um, hey, Carol from Lockbourne, Ohio. Hey, Rita. Yes, Tina, I've had a wonderful day. It's been busy crazy, but you know, school just got back in session and my son's got football and all that stuff and I had to go pick him up and from football. <coughs> Yay, Deborah. Oh, Chris got her scissors. Yay. Okay. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to use some of Stacy's printables and I'm gonna show them to you in just a second. And I am going to um, use my stuff and I'm going to incorporate all that together and we're gonna make a whole entire um, uh, tear tray set. I look at the comments and then I get, <laughs> I get a side trace. This shirt is from Stacy from Wilshire Collection. That's what it says at the bottom. Aren't, isn't this the cutest shirt ever? It's so cute. You can click that link and you can go to her shop um, and I'll put it in the in the post or whatever. I didn't get to do it then because I had a little technical difficulty right before I went live, but I, it's all good. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the printables first and then I'll show you what all we're gonna do with them. We're gonna do something totally different. Okay, so this is, this is the, she has like several different sets for fall, but this one right here, is like my fave because <clears throat> this this is in it this truck is in it um here is one of them it says pumpkins are my love language and you you know it's the fall it says fall is in the air and hey there pumpkin so cute and let's see that i got them different sizes because i'm using a different size okay and there this is the same truck see it <laughs> isn't it so cute so you get that that and there's one more piece to it and I gotta find it. Like I said, I printed it off several different sizes. And that says happy harvest and then it says harvest time. And that's what you get in this pumpkin, this pumpkin bundle, okay? Super, super cute. And we are gonna take these and we're, I shrunk them down a little on my computer before I printed them. And we're gonna put these on different items and we're gonna make a whole tier tray set plus with my stuff that I'm gonna show y'all here in just a minute. Hey Maureen, hey Carol. Okay, so I've printed them in several different sizes to get the size that I wanted. When you go to your printer, you can print them. Um, hey Mary from Fort Myers, hey Rhonda. And then let's see, you can print them different sizes, okay? So you go in your settings, when it go, when you hit print, it should come up and it'll ask you different things and you can shrink, you know, shrink the page down smaller, whatever you want, you can make them bigger. And I shrunk this one down. I wrote it up here in my terrible handwriting. This is 55%. That's how big it is. And so we're going to start with this one, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. And I've done some prep work because this is going to be long because I'm going to paint and show you how to put together the new set. Um, so I'm going to do this. Hey, Cynthia. So Stacy has the best printables. I love her printables. It's, they're so versatile of how you can use them and it's awesome okay so let me show you this first because i did prep this a little bit ahead of time <clears throat> okay y'all have all seen these 
from the Dollar Tree and I went ahead and painted mine. I just painted it white on this side because the printable is going to go here. And then I just did this real pretty kind of aqua blue. It's going to match the pumpkins. It's going to match all of it. Um, Donna, in that link that I pinned in the bottom, that's you can click that. It'll take you to Stacy's shop, and you can look around or whatever. But it'll be there the whole live, and then I'll post it afterwards too, so you won't miss out. Okay, so we are. I'm not going to use the tray in the standard way that you use the tray. Okay, I'm going to use the tray. We're going to use the back side. Okay, because it will stand up on its own. So think outside the box a little bit, or think outside the tray. And like I said, this one, when you just print it out as it comes, it is big. It is, um, you can put this, I'm going to find it again, guys. I got so much prints over here. It's this size when you print it out. <clears throat> it's a whole piece of paper. But like I said, I shrunk it down and made it. This is 100%. This was 55. And this 55 is going to go perfectly on the back of this tray. So we can make it, um make it go on, you know, to fit this this thing so we will have a little piece for our tiered tray. So I'm just gonna put my printable on the top and I'm gonna line it up on the bottoms and I'm gonna crease it so I'll know exactly where I need to cut. And I'll show you in just a second what I'm talking about. It fits it perfectly. Cause I printed it several times. Hey Kathy, hey Becky, hey Debbie. I printed it several times to get the right thing. And that's the thing about these printables is that you can print them as many times as you want. If you want to print it a hundred times, print it a hundred times. Because once you purchase it, it's yours to print as many times as you want to. Um, and look, it's the same truck. Did y'all notice? It's so stinking cute. <clears throat> okay. So she has several different shirts, several different um, printables and stuff for fall. She is all fouled up. So all I did was crease it around the tray. Can you see where I creased it? just laid it on there and lined it up and try and just creased it and we're going to kind of use a new well it's not new but it's new to me because I've never done it this way but we're gonna do the iron technique on the Mod Podge um, so Stacy that's, that's the way she does hers and I was like you know what I'm gonna try the iron technique so I got a little tiny iron and I just realized I didn't put it in my Amazon shop, but it's okay because I will when we get off. Okay. So let me show you how cute this is going to look. So see, I shrunk it down 55% and it fits on this perfectly. But don't worry about this blank spot because we're going to fix that. So isn't this cute? It's going to be cute. So see, it's going to stand up all by itself. Perfect size. <clears throat> um, let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and... So we're gonna be making several pieces tonight. So don't don't feel like you're gonna miss out um, on anything because we're gonna we're making several pieces, like enough to go on a whole tier tray. So with the printables and then my stuff, and I'm gonna show y'all that in just a minute. I can't wait for y'all to see it. I've been sitting on it for a few weeks now and cutting and cutting and cutting and <laughs> oh, I was wrapping all of it last night. Um, Sue, they're in the little link that's pinned down at the bottom. You can click that link and it will take you there. But if you don't want to miss what I'm doing, you can wait and do it after. Because I will post, as soon as I get off, I'll post the link again. I didn't put it in the description of the video because I was having technical difficulties. And I didn't make it to that part. I was like, oh no. Okay. So now you put your Mod Podge on there okay this is the iron technique i've never done it i'm doing it first here i've never done it put your mod podge on here and then we're going to dry it just a little well almost dry hey lynette oh brenda you love the iron technique i've never tried it this is the very first time i've tried it so you dry your mod podge pretty much dry so y'all gonna get to see me do it for the first time because i've never done it <laughs> truth Okay, so here's my little pumpkin patch truck. Isn't it cute? Okay. And then I'm just going to put it on there and get it all straight. It's dry, so it's not sticking yet. And so you're supposed to be able to iron over the top. And, it's, and it reactivates that Mod Podge and makes it stick. Hey, Margie, you're making dinner and watching me. Okay, 
Let me show y'all this. Is this not the little cutest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> this is the one Stacy has. Yeah, Jordan, it's pretty dry. It's dry. Um, this is the one Stacy has. And of course, I had to get on it. And look, y'all, it's got like a little smiley face on the front. <laughs> I'm just so, I'm so goofy, y'all. I'm nerdy like that. Okay. All right. So, I got it on there. And then you're supposed to just, oh, you know what? I think I'm supposed to have a piece of paper in between there. But I don't. Hold on, let me think for a second what I can grab really quick. I'm supposed to have like parchment paper, but I think I'm just gonna use a piece of regular paper. Hold on, hold on. Let's do this. I forgot my parchment papers in the kitchen. Stormy Illinois, I heard y'all are getting a bunch of storms and stuff. Okay, yeah, the iron's been hot for a while. I have had it on, it's already hot. So now I'm just going to kind of go over it and it's supposed to heat the Mod Podge right back up or heat it up, activate it or something. So that's what we're gonna try. Isn't that iron too cute? It's like a little Barbie iron. And when I bought my little iron, <clears throat> I got the two pack. Cause guess what I'm gonna do with the other one? One of you are going to get Happy Mail and get a little iron. I'll show it to you in just a second. Cause I had to think about y'all too. I have to, I like to give back, so. Okay, so let's see if it's stuck. Okay, I don't want it to fall off my table. Look at that. It's on there, y'all. Look how stinking cool this is. No bubbles, it's completely smooth. It's no bubbles at all. Is that not cute? Yeah, cover it parchment paper. I totally forgot my parchment paper is in the kitchen. I was running around like a little um, chicken with my head cut off before I went live. Um, truck, little red truck paper. I got a blue truck. It's from that link at the bottom of the screen. So I am just gonna kinda hit the edge a little bit with my sanding block just to get this off. And We're gonna make this like super, super cute. Okay, and now it's on there. See? So this is a tray from Dollar Tree. And then I just, I'm gonna use it this way. If you wanted to use it this way, you could and use like a little shadow box. But we're gonna cover up these holes. Um, okay, so let me show you the iron that somebody is going to receive. It's pink. <laughs> it's like a real Barbie iron. Isn't it cute? It comes with a little cord. It has an on and off switch. And that little joker gets kind of hot. Okay. Yes, you iron it because there's no bubbles. There's no wrinkling. There's no bubbles and nothing. It's beautiful. Oh, Billy, yes. The little irons are so stinking cute. I, when I saw her use hers, I was like, oh my goodness, I gotta have one. Okay, so here's our little tray turned into a sign. Okay, so... Let me find, I've got so much stuff on this table. I tell y'all that all the time, but I really do because I knew that I was gonna need a bunch of stuff tonight because we got a lot of stuff to do. Jay and the iron came from Amazon. If you just type in like mini crafting iron or something like that, and I'm kind of wondering if that's not gonna make it sit wobbly, so I may not put it on the bottom. This is Christmas ribbon from Hobby Lobby, and it's in the gift wrap. You know, I told y'all the other day about it, and it's really pretty buffalo check. So y'all don't forget that section when you go to, to the Hoblob when they put the Christmas stuff on sale. So I'm gonna put this all the way around the sides except for the bottom. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a dot here. I got all kinds of stuff plugged up. I've got an iron, a heat gun, a glue gun. I've got everything, everything um, plugged up today. I feel like I'm gonna blow a circuit. I got my light plugged up, my phone's plugged up. Um, the iron is from Amazon. And you just type in uh, craft iron or something like that. Um, but I can put it in my Amazon shop when I get done. Okay, so I'm gonna run it across and see it's gonna cover up that little hole right there. So. How genius is that? But it adds a little something, something to the sides that gives it a little more flair. But you know what I should have done first? I don't guess it matters. It's okay. 
yes, I'm, I'm going to do some other things. I'm, I'm going to show y'all what we're, what I'm debuting tonight. But Stacy just put these out this, I think this week, I think, and her shirts. Oh, Amanda's on too. You watching me and Amanda? Okay. You're dedicated. You got devices going and <laughs> two devices. Okay. Look how cute this is. Look at that. It's so stinking cute. Okay. But I think I'm going to put a piece of something. Maybe the little buffalo at the top. I don't know. I got all kinds of ribbon out here too. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what else I got over here. Pink is your favorite cover. Just, just saying. <laughs> Maybe I'll put this at the top. I've got some other ribbon. I was thinking about putting a piece at the top just to cover up that void. I think I'm going to do the buffalo check. Because, see, the pumpkins have the buffalo check, too, in the printable. You can see it. It says, pumpkins are my love language. Isn't that cute? If my husband's air compressor kicks on, I'll be sitting in the dark. And it, scare, it, it scares me to death when that thing comes on because it, it's a big one. I mean, it's like taller than I am and it's huge and it scares the daylights out of me when that happens. Okay, I'm going to put a dot of glue there. I'm not going to run it around the sides. I'm just going to put it straight across the front. This is going to be so cute. I know y'all are anxious to, to see my creations. Oh, Betty, you're already in her printable club? Yes, yeah, she has a club, too, you can get in. And it's awesome, and you get them every month. And her printables are awesome. Oh, thank you, Pat. You're so sweet. This is just regular ribbon from Michaels. And they put this width all the time on sale for, like, 99 cents. So when if I see it and it's 99 cents, I usually grab a roll or two because I go through it a lot. Um, okay, so look how adorable that is and um it's hardly any i didn't hardly do anything i painted the box ahead of time of course um what kind of paper this is just regular old copy paper regular copy paper from you know the school section or whatever you can take them to walgreens you can take them wherever you want print place like office max or somewhere and they can print them for you on cardstock you can print them in a, you know, a matte picture, put them in a frame, whatever you want to do. They're so cute. Look how adorable this is for our little tiered tray collection that we're making. <laughs> Kathy, always excited to watch me. Okay, so let me show you. We got some other stuff to make, so don't go anywhere. But I know y'all are dying, so I'm, I'm about to show y'all because I'm dying too because I can't wait. Because this, this has got a, this, this has a secret to it. So I'm really excited about it because it's going to blow y'all away when you see it. Okay. Let's see if I got them all. One, two, three, four. I'm missing somebody. Who am I missing? One, two, three, four. Five. No, that's it. Okay. So this is my new set. And after I get off the live, I will go to my computer and boom, I'll put them in the shop. I have tons and tons cut guys. I've been cutting these forever and there's fuzz in his eye. Okay. So you get pumpkins. And they're two pieces, okay? I can't show y'all the secret, but there's the two pieces. And the, so his, his mouth and everything is the back side is what you're seeing. So there's, you get this pumpkin, this pumpkin. And I'm going to paint these live here just shortly and show you how I did it. You get this funny face. You get this little guy with his little teeth. But you hadn't seen the secret yet, so y'all just wait. You get this little guy. You get these cute guys, which I painted mine black and white because I'm going to do a black and white uh, tear tray set um, for Halloween. So these guys, you get them, and they're blank. You get that you can paint them any color you want. Okay, so now for the surprise part. You ready? Okay, so we have this. And you have that. So you could put this out now. And then when Halloween comes, boom, we got Halloween. And then after Halloween passes, boom, you got fall again. <laughs> I'm so in love with these little guys. Look. Ta-da! 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 <laughs> 
I just love it. Look how stinking cute. And so then it's like, ta-da. <laughs> so there is his, the front side for Halloween. And then you get the back side for fall. So you can do whatever you want. But each one of these little guys are two pieces. This one's just white. I know y'all can't see that with the light. And then it's two pieces. Um, and see, look, at, look, I love this one. Ta-da! Isn't that so cute? I know that light, y'all can't see it, but isn't it cute? Okay, so it's two pieces. So the front side has the holes, and then the back side is just plain, okay? So you paint the inside black or yellow or whatever color you want his eyes to be, and it shows through the front. Now, you get seven, you get five pumpkins, and then you get two of these, but it's 14 pieces. So if you wanted just to use the fronts, and the back separately, you could. You don't have to do it the way I have it here. You can do it however you want to. You don't have to glue them together. But is that not the cutest? And then y'all saw them today when I posted my thing about going live. Y'all saw it. I put it on there. I was like, mm, let's see if anybody notices. Because <laughs> I was so excited about these guys. I just can't even stand the cuteness. Okay. So, um... Susan, they are going to go live in my shop. As soon as I get off and finish all of this, then I'll get off and I'll go to my computer and I, it'll go live right then. Um, and like I said, if you don't get them this time, y'all know I'm going to cut more and more and more. But I have a lot cut because I've had both of them cutters going all week long cutting these pumpkins. <laughs> I was wrapping them all in the living room last night and my husband was like, my gosh, how many is this? <laughs> Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do, um, and who knows, we might just chew somebody and somebody just will get some. Um, okay, so the next part of the printables is the, it says Happy Harvest, and then we have this little truck right here. So I'm going to take, these are printed down, I think these are 50%, but here's what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to put them on the ends of the crates. So this kind of shows you, this is from Dollar Tree. I painted it ahead of time. I stained it with burnt umber mixed with a little touch of orange. And then I just dry brush some white over it. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to cut this little guy, two of them out. See, I, you print it more than once. You can print it as many times as you want to. So I printed it twice. So I have two of them. And I'm going to put it on the ends of my crate and cutify this little crate up, if that's a word. I'm glad y'all like them as much as I do. I was so stinking excited, I could not hold it. And I've been wanting to show y'all for like a while now and I've, I've, re I've refrained, but I couldn't sit on it anymore. Okay, let's see, so, so we're in here to have a good time and I wanna show y'all just how to do some stuff and think outside the box a little bit. Rather than just take these and slap them on a, on a sign or something, think about what else you could put these on. Like I just did this one if you're just hopping on. This is a tray, a little tray from Dollar Tree and I turned it into this. Is that not cute? Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing to this little crate. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the same thing. So see, it's gonna go right here on the end of my crate. And then I'm gonna fill the crate with little pumpkins and all kinds of cuteness. Where's my Mod Podge? Here it is. Oh, thank y'all, y'all are so sweet. Now this crate doesn't have holes, so. But there's so many things you can do with these printables and I'm, I'm just in love with them. You know, not just to have a sign, but she makes different sizes so you can do different things with it. And um, why didn't I just do that? Y'all watch me do that. I put it on there and stuck it right on there. Oh, well. <laughs> Haven't figured it out yet, but I heard the others print and cut printables. Oh, okay. But you just print them on your printer and then you just do what I'm doing. Y'all saw me do that. I just like put it on there and slapped it on there like crazy. I'm supposed to dry it first. Oh, the shirt is in her shop too at that link at the bottom. Um, had I had to have all the things because um, I love all her stuff. So, all right, so now I'm gonna dry it this time. 
I was just a talking. Oh, you're in the club too, Robin? Yes. I love it all. I think I'm just gonna have to get in the club. <laughs> hey, Deidre. Oh, hey, Shelly. Oh, you been had COVID for four weeks? Bless your heart. Oh my gosh. I know it's getting bad again, guys. Okay, so I dried my Mod Podge this time and I'm gonna lay this on top. I just slam forgot about it a minute ago. Luckily, I didn't have any bubbles. But the bigger the piece that you're trying to Mod Podge, the more chance that you have to have bubbles. Hey, Teresa. So this is a little piece, so maybe it won't be so bad. Here's my pretend parchment paper because I forgot it. My little Barbie iron. It's so weird to iron with something this small. Never Mod Podge. And the, yeah, this would probably work good for the calendar pages too because I know they're thin. And if you were gonna Mod Podge any of that, it would probably work. Let's see if it's stuck. Gotta set this little booger down and not let it fall. Oh yeah, it's on there. Ta-da! So I've got that on one side and I've got that on the other side. And there's my little crate. How easy is that? It's so stinking easy. Um, if you wanted to, you could go as far as Mod Podge in that tissue paper I showed y'all that time. You could put some of this on the side. You could decorate your crate. Just do all kinds of stuff. But how stinking cute is that? My pen back in my stuff. All right. I'm going to get out my... It looks like a toy. It does look like a toy, doesn't it? I'm getting out my hula skirt. <laughs> this hula skirt's going to last me all fall, right? I hope so. All right, because I only got to get one, and I'm cutting off some hula-ness. Come on. There we go. I'm just, well, I better put it over here. I might need it again. Oh, you love Sunday with me and Lindy? Yes, we had a ball. Okay, so I'm going to just, this is my hay. <laughs> oh, he won his blue ribbon with his with this lab puppy. That is so sweet. Oh, Tammy, you're sweet. Okay, so there's my hay. We're gonna put it down in our little happy harvest crate. All right, right there. And, okay, so I gotta show y'all these. Hobby Lobby has these. And they're 40% off of $6.99. I'm not gonna use them in this way though. Y'all know that. <laughs> I'm gonna do something else with them. I'm gonna cut these suckers off. And Dollar Tree will be putting out their little pumpkins too. And I actually just have some little pumpkins off some picks from Dollar Tree that I'm just gonna kinda, this one I pulled off and had a bobo. So now I'm just gonna cut a couple of these Buffalo check ones off and mix in there with, the, um, with my other little pumpkins. Let's see, I got some over here. I needed to have painted one blue. That little guy wants to hop out of that box. Okay, how stinking adorable is that? I'm gonna cut my hay, y'all. It don't look right. It's all going kind of rogue on me. Okay, look how stinking cute. Is that gonna be, here we go. We got our little set going. It's going pretty quick. And this is so cute, okay. So I got that, and we got that. These are cute. So see, I only use two off of there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's 10 of these on here for $7 minus 40%. <laughs> yes, they have Buffalo check at the Dollar Tree, but my, my Dollar Trees have not put any of that out yet. So I'm like, I need those. So I had to go to Hobby Lobby and get them. Velvet Tiny Pumpkins. I know, I can't wait. I, I, they're putting out stuff at mine, but not, um, they haven't put it out in full force just yet. They're like killing me. But how stinking cute. Okay, we got two pieces now. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do, y'all got so much stuff on this table. The hula skirt's covering up everything I got and I can't see what I have. Hold on. Where are my, here they are. Okay. 
So just thinking outside the box, I wanted to show y'all a couple of things. These are like from Dollar Tree, those shapes that they have. You could put, you know, any of this stuff on these. You could put beads on here and make you a tag. There's just so many things you can do with these printables. Um, what do I want to do next? Okay, let's do, y'all know these guys. They have them every year at Dollar Tree. And of course, it would only be right to put pumpkins or my love language on the pumpkin. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, and then we're gonna do one more thing after this, and that'll be our set, and then we're gonna do our pumpkins. Your AC is not working. Oh my goodness. I got it pumping up in here because I got this three-quarter length shirt on. And, um, hey, Nancy, I'm so sorry about your mom, but I'm glad she's not, she's not uh, in pain or suffering anymore. Um, I don't know. Let's see what color. I have an orange one of these, but I think I'm just going to paint it. Um, Lou Ann, at the bottom, there's a link pinned at the bottom. That's where you can click and go to her shop. The shirts are there. She actually has a shirt that has this on it too. And it is adorable. It says, pumpkins are my love language. Okay. So yes, so my Nancy said I bought several of those pumpkins. I have several from last year and I'm still using them. So I just took the little raffia bow. This one thankfully didn't have glitter. <laughs> and, um, thank, thank goodness. So I think I'm going to, I'm trying to decide what color and how I'm going to do this. Okay, this is Dark Orange by Michael's Craftsmart. Um, they have one, carrot or Spice Carrot at Apple Barrel. It's kind of, it's kind of similar. I think I'm going to use the Spice Carrot. Let's use Spice Carrot. No, Holly, they're not. They are on the link at the bottom, pinned at the bottom. Oh, Jill, your aunt's in hospice. I'm so sorry. So many people losing people right now, and it's just so sad. You just got a hula skirt, Kathy? I wish I could at least get one more because I, I only got one, and I'll, it may not last. It may not last me all fall. Okay, so I'm going to take my white Waverly and my spice carrot, and I just thought I have the orange chalk paint, too, and I don't know why I didn't think of that. I'm just gonna mix some of this in here and change my white into orange. But it's gonna mute it down a little too. Maybe. Get my paintbrush. That's just gonna give it that chalky finish. So if you have white chalk paint, put you some acrylic paint in there, change the color. But the white's gonna mute that orange down just a little. And it's peachy, so I gotta get some more. Okay. All right, just putting a little more. I should have got my, what's the orange color called? I can't remember, but I know I have a little bottle of it, I think, and I just thought about it. I get a paper towel. Don't have a lot of autumn things in the UK. Oh, um, I hate that. Did the trees not turn over there or? All right. So here's, this is the color it kind of turned out to be. It's not as orange. The mason jars like the pumpkins. Yes, I have seen those uh, somewhere. Somebody posted a picture, but I haven't seen them in person just yet. So see, it kind of muted it down just a little bit. Because I painted that box that blue color, the teal blue, and then I wanted this to be a pop of orange because it's a pumpkin and... Not that pumpkins have to be orange. I'm gonna hold it by the stem and hope the stem doesn't come out. <laughs> the stem comes out, y'all just laugh and carry on. <laughs> I might try to glue it to the table in a minute. <laughs> I do that too. Yeah, see, well, I do too. I like mixing paint to make my own color. Cause you can, you know, don't think that you gotta have every shade under the rainbow because you can mix colors and make your own. So I'm just gonna paint this, and the chalk paint just helps it cover better. And I will tell you, this thing had a decal on the back. I, 
I may or may not have said a few ugly words trying to get that decal off. I heated it up. I scrubbed it with cleaner. I scrubbed it with goo gone. I scrubbed it with everything. I finally got it off, but my goodness, it was not budging. It was not wanting to budge. All right, I'm gonna paint up on my stem. See, it covered it really pretty. I know it's weird color on the camera. Hey, Mandy, there's Mandy with Western Grace Home Decor and Design. Okay. Where's my pumpkin cover? Oh, it's, it is called Pumpkin, isn't it, Debbie? Thank you, I couldn't think of it for nothing. I'm gonna put a little orange over here to the side. And while this is still wet, I'm just gonna dip my paintbrush right back in it. And I'm just gonna kinda give it some, I'm just kinda swirling it down. Not that it's gonna show a whole lot. See how I just kinda swished it on there? Camera makes it look a funny color. Oh, Amy, it is from Wilshire Collections. It's at the link at the bottom. If you wanna go check out her shop, and I'm doing printables from her shop too that I've done before, the Christmas one not too long ago. But knowing that I was doing these pumpkins, um, cutting out the pumpkins, I had to have those printables to go with it because they're just too stinking cute. I might just have to go redo my whole tear tray tonight and decorate it with all of this stuff. Okay, so see, I just kind of made it, it looks a lot better in person, I know, because the camera just kind of does weird stuff to the colors, to especially orange. All right, I was fixing to pick up my iron. That's not gonna help, is it? <laughs> so let's dry it really fast. Isn't that a pretty color? Just kind of toned it down just a little bit. Hey, Sandra, thank y'all for being here and watching and supporting me and I'm just humbled because there's so many people up here. But we're gonna put that printable that says pumpkins are my love language on it. That's what I'm gonna put on this one. My fingers are getting tired, y'all. Mm. My fingers are wanting to cramp up. Hold on, I got some Great big gobs on the bottom. Great big gobs. Oh, greasy, grimy, go for guts. Isn't that how that goes? I'm so good for y'all. I'm, I'm kind of nerdy. Thank you, Tanya. Looks like push-up ice cream color. It does. I love push-ups. When I was a kid, that was the big treat. Lemon oil, Jan. Where were you when I was having such a hard time? I mean, Goo Gone was, was having a struggle. I actually about rubbed a blister on my thumb trying to roll it off with my thumb. Ooh, this is hurting my fingers. Uh, Debbie, I don't have um, an Etsy shop. I just have a Shopify. Um, and I'll put that in the comments when I get done. Like, at the, you know, right before I get off. So y'all can go to my shop, but you have to give me just about two or three minutes to get it, you get it loaded up and live. It takes me a second. And, um, I'm gonna load those pumpkins right on up there. Where did I get the dryer? Oh, it came from Amazon. It's in my Amazon shop too. Okay, so, it's all dry. Kind of like, mis miraculously, where's my water jar? Oh, <laughs> y'all, there's so much stuff in front of me, I don't even know. Um, you have turquoise splatters all over your thing. I know, I hope I don't get anything on my new shirt. But if you get this on your clothes, okay? If you get acrylic paint on your clothes, put some rubbing alcohol on it and just kind of scrub a little bit, put some more alcohol, scrub a little bit, and it will get it out. I've done it several, several times. Okay, so now let me get my, I shrunk this one down. I think, I think it's 50%. So see how cute it is. I think that's 50%. Like I said, I had to do it a couple of times to, to get the right size that I wanted. Cause it's really big. 
Let me show you full size. I can't remember. Yeah, there's the full size. That's how it comes if you just print it straight off of her download. Um, that's how big it is. Maybe this is 40%. I can't remember. But I shrunk it down. I think it was 50. So it would fit on my little pumpkin. So just go in, you know, when you hit print, a little box comes up on your computer and it says something about uh, the settings. And I have to go in mine, it says more settings, and then I change it. So y'all, look how stinking cute this is going to be. Cute. Dawn dish, Dawn dish soap gets it out. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. So this time, I saw Stacy do this too. Hey, you're okay, Tabitha. We're just glad you're here. I'm gonna put the Mod Podge right on my paper since I don't exactly know on the pumpkin where it's going to go and put it on the back of my paper. Get it all on the corners and all that good stuff. Um, I don't know if it works on already washed stuff or not. Betty, my Amazon shop, I took it off my main page, but it's in the group. It's on the pin post in the group under like it says like where places you can find me. And it's also on my website. If you look at my website on a desktop, it's in the corner up there. You can see that. Okay, so I dried my paper with my Mod Podge on the back. It's all dry. And then I'm going to come over here. Oh, you know what I want to do first? Hold on. Okay. Got, we're gonna, I'm going to give it a little something, something. Um, it looks like Thousand Island dressing. Yes, it does. Mary, you must be hungry. This is my little brown stamp pad. You can use paint. I'm just gonna kind of give it a little something something on the edges of my pumpkin and make it a little brown give it a little a little dimension to it you can't really see it but maybe you can see it's brown on the edge kind of I promise this looks a total different color different color than it does on this camera it's weird orange just throws it all off so I just kind of roughed it up on the edges. You can do that with paint or in a sponge or a sponge brush, you can do that too. All right, hold on, let me get this dry. I don't know if that helps the ink or not, but I'm doing it. Okay, so here's my little piece and it's got the Mod Podge on the back. And I'm gonna go Let's go, let's go, let's go up to the, I'm gonna go kind of up to the top of the pumpkin. I'm just trying to eyeball where I want it to be. Okay. I'm gonna stick it down. I'm gonna get my pretend parchment paper because somebody forgot their parchment paper. That would be me. Oh no, Sherry broke his arm. That's what I used to do. I was at x-ray tech and worked at orthopedics. Bless his heart. I'm just doing my little baby iron. Okay. And it's on there. Oh, let's get down here at the bottom. And it just heats that Mod Podge right back up. Yeah, I do too, Jody. I love to use the ink. Kind of gives it a little distressed look to it. My little baby iron, my Barbie iron. Isn't it so cute? So cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing. Well, let's see, let's do, let's do something out of the box, hold on. I just had a thought. All right, so I got this color ribbon. Isn't it pretty? That's my color, y'all, that's my jam. And let me measure how much I want. Y'all, this is going on my tear tray tonight. Tonight. Cannot wait. It's going to be so cute because I still have 4th of July on mine. All right, this is wired ribbon. I think I've showed y'all this trick before, and you may know, but I'm going to show in case somebody on here does not. Wired ribbon. There's the little wire. Just pull that sucker right on out, and it just comes right out. 
Now I gotta, and then you can just push it up and the little wire will come out somewhere. Here it is. And just pull it right on out of there and throw it in the garbage. Okay, so I'm gonna put my ribbon and that way it'll lay flat because we don't need the wire technically. We don't need it. So I'm gonna have a whole little tear tray set here in just a matter of a few minutes. Yeah, I love the ink too. And they're really inexpensive and it comes in a pack, I think at Hobby Lobby, and you get black, brown, gray, white. There's, you know, like the neutral colors. You get all those colors in one pack. It, I think it's a Hobby Lobby, but it's been a while, so don't quote me on that because they may not carry it anymore. But I about need some more. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me tonight. Y'all are so sweet. You saved the wires for Sinners of Bows. Betty, that's smart. Okay. Let me fix it. Look how cute. And I'm not done. I'm not done. I gotta add a little bit more to it. Oh, y'all. This is gonna do it right here. And if you have fabric, you can do the same thing with fabric. Just cut you out a strip or tear it and make it look all ragged and it will be just fine. So I got my little bitty skinny buffalo check. I told y'all I use a whole lot. I use it all the time. So I'm putting it in the middle. Can glue that down. This is really gonna make it pop because those, those pumpkins have got buffalo check. So I really wanna put some buffalo check on here. But I like the aqua blue too. Yeah, I'm gonna have to show y'all a picture of my tiered tray. Get it all adjusted. How adorable is this? Cute, cute, cute. So here's what we have so far. We got our little crate. So I'm like um, using almost all of the things in the printables. And then I got this. See, it's all tied in together with our pumpkins and our um, aqua color and the orange and the, br and the black. Oh, good, Marcia. Say, uh, that's good to know that they still have that. Where's my, where's my hula skirt? I'm going to cut me off some. I feel like I'm playing with Cousin It over here with all my, my pretend raffia. Oh, they still have it good. They still have it, okay. Cause mine, I've had mine a while. I think I just lost half of the pieces I cut off. <laughs> and I'm gonna tie some raffia, well, fake raffia. I can handle the, the skirt better than I can the real raffia because the real raffia gives me rage. Okay, so I'm gonna get all this together and then I'm just gonna tie it around here and you can tie a buffalo check around here. You can tie whatever you want around the top. That little bow that came on here, it was kind of sad. Look at it, it's all, <laughs> it's seen its better days. So I put it out of its misery and took it off. Okay. So yeah, these are good crafts. Just because you're making a whole set to go on your um, tray, Ooh, I just pulled it straight off. Your tray or either your dough bowl or just to set around your house. You don't even have to have a tiered tray. Crinkle it all up. Raffia Rage, that's right, I get Raffia Rage. If y'all don't know and if you're new, I get Raffia Rage, I don't like to. I like Raffia, but it doesn't like me and I cannot tame the beast, I can't do it. Look how stinking cute. Get my Raffia to, to, to act right. So there's our pumpkins are my love language. And that, that is just the cutest printable ever. And then here's my little crate that we made with the other printables that's on that you get in that bundle. And then here's this. So stinking cute. So look, look how much, look, at, I've got three things already. And it's just like bam, bam, bam. Instantaneous cuteness. A bow off the pumpkin is wonky. Yeah, it's wonky because I made it. <laughs> it's wonky. Okay, thank you, Kelly. Okay, so now for my last one, I'm gonna give you a couple of options. I'm gonna use the little truck that says harvest time. And let me 
cut out my paper and then I'm gonna cut it out. And like I said, I shrunk these down a little bit. Tendrils for the pumpkins. <sighs> Leanne, I sure could have. I might have to dig those out of the garbage. <laughs> okay, so now they sell these at Hobby Lobby. I think they're in the wedding section or somewhere. It says Hobby Lobby, but I don't even know what part of Hobby Lobby. But I know they sell little wooden tags. Um, you could shrink this down and put it on there. You could shrink that down. See, I'm not even using those two. Um, I might have to do that later on. But here, that's one option. You could shrink this down some more, and you could put this on your tag, put you some beads, make you a bead garland. And there's your little tag. I'm going to put mine on... I was just digging through my stash, guys, and I have these ovals. I used to make Christmas ornaments. And they're $2.99 in the wood pile section. And then, you know, of course, wait till they're on sale. When they had a coupon, they don't anymore. And since it's oval, I'm going to put it on this oval. All right, so let's see. That's orange, that's brown. Trying to decide what color I'm gonna paint it. And then we're gonna paint pumpkins. Um, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go out of the box. Natural tags are in the paper craft too. Yeah, you, like I said, you have to shop the whole store at Hobby Lobby. You just have to because they have all kinds of stuff in all the departments and you just have to go to the whole store. Okay, so like I said, this was, I knew this was going to be a long live tonight because I'm making so much stuff, but it's so stinking cute. But yes, I'm going black with this. Going to paint it black. And I'm probably going to glue some Jenga blocks to the back. Or you can just lean it up against something on your tear tray. You don't have to have a stand. But if you wanted to drill a hole, you could tie this on the end of your um, beaded garland. You could do that. And, I mean, we've just about got a whole little set here. And it's going to go on my tear tray. I don't even have my fall stuff out of my, out of my attic. Black is going to bring out the printable. See, that's what I was thinking, too. And if I really wanted to get fancy, I could try to paint some buffalo check lines on there, like, roughly. But since it's oval, that might throw me off. I don't know. <laughs> and I may just wait and paint the back because I know y'all are excited for me to paint these pumpkins. So when y'all say, do you, do you tell me how you painted those pumpkins to look like that? It's really simple. There's my black oval. Let's dry it really fast. Yes, Pamela, the, tr the shirts uh, fit true to size. I wear extra large, but I like I don't like everything to fit like tight. So I um this is an extra large. But yes, they do. They fit true to size, and it's real soft. Oh, you put your, Michelle, you put your fall stuff out. I'm ready. I need to put some sunflowers and stuff. Yes, Mandy, the new pumpkins do stand by themselves. Let me show y'all that real quick. They're double layered. So, yes, they will stand like that. The only one that doesn't stand, and it might if you hold your mouth right, is that, that one will stand by itself too. But, you have, you know, you might have to lean it against something. But all of them stand on their own. Yes. See? Let me turn it around and you see it better. See, they'll stand on their own. Yeah, I hope the black doesn't show through either. I'm just kind of wondering. But it's going to look cute, though. I'm just going to cut it out really fast. But yeah, this is just regular copy paper. Nothing fancy. I just shot them out of my printer. And like I said, I printed them a few times so I could size them to what I needed. And I was getting all excited. I went digging through my stash and found all this Dollar Tree stuff. I was like, oh, I'm going to put this here and this here and this here. And it was just wonderful. Okay. So, if you just watch it, I've got, I made this out of a tray. Cute. And then my pumpkin with pumpkins are my love language. One of those Dollar Tree pumpkins I revamped. And then our little crate. 
with our little pumpkins in it that's got the printables on the ends. Oop, oop, knocking everything down like dominoes. Okay. This is going to be cute. All right, so let me put the Mod Podge on the back of my paper. Yeah, I can't wait to decorate either. I at least want to get some sunflowers going or something. So I'm putting it on the back of my paper and I'm going to dry it so I can iron it. Oh, thank you, Kathy. And I'm getting black paint on the back. <laughs> it's stuck to my fingers. You're sleepy, Nicole. Okay. All right. So I'm going to center this little, so it's dry, dry. Yeah, you could put the pumpkin, the oval on here. You sure could. Or like put it on here and then put it on there. As like I said, you can um, do this any way you want. And it would be um, just adorable. All right, I got to get it straight. Let me eyeball it. Okay. Let me get my, my fake parchment paper. And this little booger gets hot, y'all. I was really surprised it got so hot. But I just think this is the coolest because it doesn't bubble. Transition to sunflowers. Yeah, I think I'm going to break out some sunflowers too. But I really like this set. But she has a sunflower set too, guys. So if you're wanting to do sunflowers, she has a cute sunflower and buffalo check set. Look how cute. So let's see. So I got a Jenga block. And I think, I think I'm going to put it right there. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to, so it'll stand up. Or like I said, you could drill a hole in there and the little tag and you could put this on the end of your um, beaded garland it would be really really cute oh family dollar i hadn't been in family dollar in a while but yeah they have a little section too they have a little crafting section hey cindy you're new welcome welcome cindy okay so now we have that and so you can see it here but i could paint those black and it wouldn't show but look how stinking adorable and i may have to do two to make it stand up right oh the irons no it it's not cordless it's got like a little cord but it has an on off switch and the cord's kind of short but it's all right i just got my little extension cord like i do my heat gun i'm gonna put two back here to make it stand better I do too, Janice. I love these printables. But like I said, if you're doing sunflowers, she got some cute sunflower ones. It's like, it was hard for me to decide what to do. But so see, I just put two jingle blocks and there's my little harvest time sign. So if you just hop it on, I put printables on the end of these. It says harvest, happy harvest with the little pumpkins. Put my little pumpkins in my hula skirt <laughs> in there. That's going to go on my tear tray. This is going on my tear tray. Pumpkins are my love language. This is my favorite. And it's one of those pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. I just painted it and put the printable on the front. I did, this is a tray from the Dollar Tree. I put, I sized the printable down, put it on the bottom of the tray and painted the sides. And all of this is gonna go on my little tray so cute. I'm gonna have to go in the attic early in the morning when it's not so hot and dig out all my fall and maybe I need to put my fall up this weekend. Okay, so look how stinking adorable. So cute. And I could continue on and on and on because I still have, I haven't used that one and then that one. So you could do other stuff to go on your tray or other places in your house and then everything would match. Does that make sense? Like if you had a piece over here and then your tear tray was like this over here, you know, it would all blend together. And so you get a lot of printables. So I'm gonna show them again. Here's the printables that you get. Um, and like I said, I sized it down on my printer. You get that and then you get this. So 
So you can make a whole sign with this. Put it in the middle of a wreath. It would be so cute. Um, let me find the other ones. Hold on. Y'all, I got a pile of them. And then you get the harvest. Ugh. The harvest and the happy harvest and the little truck. And see, that's the same truck as on the shirt. Beep, beep. <laughs> Look how stinking cute. But yes. So don't just think, hey, I can just take a printable and slap it on a sign. And no, y'all think outside the box. You could frame this in a real pretty frame. It would be absolutely gorgeous. You could frame all of these. Um, but like I said, I just kind of thought outside the box or the tray rather and just put it on some different random things and um, this. But y'all don't go anywhere because we're fixing to paint some my pumpkins, okay? Ta-da! Isn't it cute? All right. I gotta have something to drink. I think somebody asked where the sunflowers were. If you click that link down there, it'll take you to her shop. And there's shirts, there's bags, there's pillow covers, there's all the printables are there. So she has like, she has apples, she has sunflowers, pumpkins, and there's one more I think she has for fall. And I can't for the life of me right now think of what it is. All right. So I'm going to show y'all how I painted these because they look kind of textured, but they're really not. Okay. This is so super easy. So here they are. And this is how they come when you get them. They'll be all raw, just like this. Um, but you get to paint two sides. You could iron that on canvas. Yes, you could. You sure could iron it on a canvas. Easy. And you could do the reverse canvas. And you could do uh, the frame real pretty and put that printable in the middle. Oh, my goodness. That's so cute. Put it in a gift basket and give it to a neighbor. Cute. With some pumpkin spice coffee or some, something like that. Um, so, I'm, I'm starting from scratch just like I would if I were y'all. Just peeling all the masking off. Key tip. If, for some reason, if you want to put Mod Podge paper on here or fabric, peel off your masking, use this as your, as your template to cut out your paper. Easy peasy. Okay. Uh, where are they? Oh, here they are. Sent this away and she sent me some pumpkins going to paint some live saying, oh, there's Stacy. Stacy, I didn't know if you saw everything. Here's the little pumpkin. I put pumpkins are my love language. I got to show Stacy because she's on here. And I put the little ribbon around the bottom. How stinking cute. And I took a tray. It's one of those little trays from Dollar Tree. And I did the sides and put the little truck on there. I sized it down. And I took a crate from Dollar Tree and I put the Happy Harvest on the ends. So I've got like a whole little tiered tray deal. And then he, here is the little harvest time and I put Jingle Blocks to stand him up. Just a little piece of wood that I had from Hobby Lobby. So I got like a whole little ensemble going on. And it's going to be so cute. And now I'm doing the pumpkins. Yeah, when I get off the live, all I'm going to do is walk over to my laptop and click a button and it'll they'll automatically be in the shop. And they're going to be under the miscellaneous uh, section is where they are. Because I hadn't made a fall section. I know, Stacy, isn't it cute? Look, Stacy, here's my little baby iron. <laughs> I need to turn it off before I burn myself. You're loving the pumpkin cutouts. I know, me too. But I tell you what, um, since I got the two pack iron, I'm gonna, let's find somebody. Let's go way back here. Let's scroll a long ways. And somebody's gonna get one Happy Mail iron. An iron for Happy Mail. Let me go way, I'm still scrolling. Tammy Holmes Carnell. Tammy Holmes Carnell, if you will message me, I will send you that iron in the mail for Happy Mail Carnell. Cuz I bought the two pack cuz I wanted to I wanted to give back to somebody cuz I know y'all support me. This is what you're going to get. <laughs> so I hope oop, I hope you get um I hope you get the printables, but if not, you can use it. Look how cute. So, yeah, if you don't follow Stacy, her page is Wheelshire Collections. And um, 
she does the printables in this shirt. And so she, um, she decorates, she does crafting, but she also decorates home, her home and shows you how to decorate stuff. And, and it's, it's just her, her stuff is just swoon worthy. Like you just look at it and go, oh, that looks like a magazine. It's so pretty. Yes, her stuff is beautiful. And Christmas is coming up and fall and she's decorating for fall right now. But, and her Christmas is to die for. It looks like something that come out of a, out of a, as Steve Harvey says, a department store tree. It's so pretty. Everything's just so perfectly placed. It's beautiful. But she shows you, you know, how to do all that stuff. And it's so cool. All right, here's all my little pumpkins. They're all naked now. <laughs> um, so what you'll need is your paint, and then you're gonna need, um, I use Super Glue Gel Dollar Tree. Works wonderful. If y'all have ever seen me put anything of mine together. I don't, I don't tend to craft a whole lot on here with stuff I make, so I've tried to do a little more. That way I can show you how to paint it. <laughs> Norma said, Tammy's a lucky duck. Um, is so I hope she's on here. So she has to message me with her address and she'll get happy mail. Okay. So what you have to do is you got to determine first. Well, I'll tell you what, let's paint the backs, their, their eyeballs, the inside of their eyeballs. So let me line them up how they're supposed to go. Okay. Cause one side will be jack-o'-lanterns and one side will be pumpkins so let me get all these little guys you gotta make sure like like you paint the correct side so he goes this way so make sure you're painting this side and not that side okay so we get all that black for the insides of their of their eyes let me make sure that's right yep okay so we're gonna do that Oh, hey, Lori, this shirt is actually from Stacy from Wheelshire Collections. The link's at the bottom. Um, this, and she has printables that match. <laughs> so it's all the goodness. She has all that cute stuff. But thank you for being here. Welcome, welcome. What's the paper I'm taking off the, pa off the, oh. Uh, it's masking. So when I put the wood in the laser, I have to put this big sheet of masking on it, okay? And so it's sticky on, it's a, it's a little sticky on one side. And what it does is it prevents the charring of the wood. So when the laser cuts it out, it can char the, the top side. So this paper protects it from that. So you peel it off, but you can use it to your advantage. Like I said, you can use it as a template for your paper or your fabric or whatever. Um, but anyway, so it just makes it so where the wood comes out and it's nice and pretty when you peel it off. Where do I get the pumpkin at? Uh, the pumpkins are going to be on my site when I get off. They're going to be loaded up. Um, and I will, they'll be live and y'all can are welcome to go. Um, okay, so I use makeup sponges, the little, there went my paper towels. The little wedge applicators, that's what I paint with. And there go the sponges off the table. <laughs> I got so much stuff piled up here. So, all you really need, okay, is the inside of his eyes to be black, all right? So I'm not going to paint the whole entire piece. I'm just going to paint where his eyes are going to be. Save you some paint. If you want to paint the whole thing, by all means, but it's not going to show if you put them together and glue them, okay? It's not going to show at all. You're just going to see through the eyes. But you can use each one of these pieces individually um, and not glue them together. So you can do that, and then you'd have 14 pumpkins. So it's totally up to you how you want to do them and what you want to do. Nori, I have two glow forges, but I don't really use them anymore. That's kind of what I started with. Um, I have two big industrial lasers now. So my glow forges just kind of sit over there. Um, Kathy, Tammy Holmes Carnell is the one who won the little iron, who's getting happy mail. All right. So, see, I'm just kind of painting where their eyes will be. No biggie. So, you don't have to paint the whole entire thing. Where's my, just making sure the stem's going the right way and I'm painting the correct side. 
So there's no sense in trying to paint where you don't need paint, really, because you're gonna glue them together. Okay. So this little makeup sponge, they're awesome. I'm telling you, it's so easy. Okay, so there you go. Just get in their eyes. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of pumpkins now. <laughs> okay. Uh, Michelle, they're gonna, it's gonna, it's 22 for the set. That's shipping and everything. Um, and y'all know wood has gone up astronomically and it's crazy, but I'm trying to avoid doing anything crazy, but hopefully it's supposed to come back down. But this is a quarter inch birch. This is actual birch wood. It's, it's not like balsa or anything flimsy. This is gonna last for years and years to come. And anybody that has purchase for me can probably attest to that. Okay, I think I got them all. All right, so I'm done with my black trick. If y'all hadn't seen me do this, I'm gonna cut off the part where the black is. And now I, I, I've got a clean sponge and I'm just gonna keep on going with it. All right. So I let all those dry. And we're gonna work on our pumpkins. Now I gotta get all these colors out here. Oh, I gotta grab this gold color right here. Yeah, and then I'll grab this. Okay, sorry guys, I had to roll over here. Got my king's gold, because I wanna use a different, different color. I gotta pull up my sleeves. All right, so I'm gonna dip back in this paint we mixed earlier. I know it looks weird on camera, it really isn't it's not really that color. I don't know why it looks like that. And I'm going to go back into, and you don't want to like load it up too much. You just want to like get some on your sponge, get some on the sponge and then kind of tap off a little bit. Cause you don't want it just saturated. Cause then it'll go down into those holes and it, it'll like gob up in the holes. And that looks peachy. Let me get some of this orange. So I just dip straight back into the orange right on top of that sponge. But if you'll just kind of get some different shades of orange and maybe a little white on here. All right, so see, it's kind of looking a little splotchy. And I'm just kind of bouncing up and down. And you can wipe back and forth, but I like to bounce on it because I don't want it to go down in his eyes. I don't want it to ooze down in there. Y'all know how to make a big glob puddle down in there. And then I dip back in the dark orange and I'm just kind of, this just gives it a little texture and a little dimension when you do like the different, different variants in color. And I'm gonna just tap it in the white just a little bit and then tap some orange on top of that. And then I told y'all this was really simple. And then I'm just gonna pounce, 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 pounce. And so it kind of gives it that, that looks really bright on camera. Just gives it that depth of different shades. So, so he don't look just flat orange or, which that's fine if that's the look you're going for, by absolutely all means do it that way. So there's that. Hey Colleen. All right. I got a, I'm glad I got two plates because it's gonna take two plates. All right, let's see, let's go. I got this orange, it's terracotta. I'm gonna use it. Yeah, after my live ends, I'm gonna load them up to the site. So I think I'm gonna dip in some King's Gold, this apple barrel. Just get you some, you know, some fall shades. And if you don't have like, take you some orange and dip a little, put a little brown in it and that'll tone it down and give you an earthy, an earthier orange color. So I'm going to, ooh, let's paint him. So I got me some terracotta on there. And that looks about the same color as that. Goodness, okay. Let's do this. I'm gonna throw some spiced carrot in there. 
because that looks like the color I just painted him. <laughs> Terracotta. All right. We're just going to do him orange. But these are so fun to paint and just easy. And it's painted. Okay. So then I got the orange. That's Spice Carrot. And I'm going to dip it in the King's Gold. Same sponge. And then I'm just going to start... See how I'm just pouncing up and down just a little. And that just kind of gives you that shading almost. I about pounced it out. Okay. And then I'm going to dip just a little bit in some white and just pounce it all around and just keep pouncing and it just kind of blends it all in together. So see, I know this color looks crazy on camera, but it just kind of gives it a dimensional look, but we're not through. All right, let's see what color we're going to paint this guy. So I'm going to set this sponge to the side and I got to get my sponges because they went on the floor and my paper towels while I'm over here. Hope my, I hope I got my honey in the camera having to bend over. All right. So just make up sponges if you're just watching and tuning in that's what i'm painting with they're just easy and they're not very expensive so let's do my favorite color this is light turquoise by anita's that's my favorite everything behind you that's blue you see is painted with that color and let's get some white just have fun just take you of several colors and let's just play with it uh you know, I don't know if I want him to be that color. Yeah, let's do him that color. Let's just go for it. A, a blue pumpkin. So here's the next one I'm going to do. And he's going to be a turquoise pumpkin, but that's okay. He can be any color you want. <laughs> you're okay, Bobby. Thank you for watching. No, you're fine. I understand. People have stuff to do and things to do. And I knew this was going to be a long one. Cause I had lots of stuff to create, but all of this kind of went together. All right, so he's kind of white and a little turquoise, and he's got some different shades going on. But he's a happy jack o' lantern. <laughs> he's a happy little dude. Okay, so there he is. Um. I'm going to set that sponge because, see, I'm going to use them again on the back side. So, let's see. Uh, where's my white? And I got my... I'm going to do this one King's Gold. So, this is King's Gold. Okay. So I appreciate y'all hanging on with me. The blue color is called Light Turquoise by Anita's. It's from Hobby Lobby. It's called Light Turquoise. Isn't he cute? All right. So I'm going to dip it back into some other orange, and we're just going to kind of pouncy, pouncy, pouncy. See, it just gives it that a little bit of dimensional look to him. All right. And let's see what I'm going to do now. Let's go with, this is called Autumn Orange. I just got all these different variants of orange. So. Oh, Lord. My paint bottles are falling over in my plate. This is bright orange. It's like really pretty. Let me take some of that off. All right. Yeah, I know it's late for some people. All right. See, he's all pretty and orange. And just for a little, I'm going to put, I know y'all can't even tell there's two different color oranges on there, but it is. And just kind of dab him on there because the orange wants to look really funny on the camera. Okay. Let's see. So many sponges because I'm going to do the other side, so that's why I'm not cutting off these sponges because I'm going to use them again for the other side. All right, let's get some brown, some burnt umber. Okay, 
All right. I got a little bitty bit of burnt umber. And I'm just kind of put a little white on my, it's white and burnt umber. So it's going to kind of make a brown. Just kind of see what it looks like. So I'm going to stop on that one and do him that way. And let's get back over here with some more orange. Let's make them fun. I'm concentrating. <laughs> Got some on the bottom pumpkin. <laughs> uh. All right, let me go back over that. So there's the bottom and the middle, and then we're gonna do the top one. Let's do him a little king's gold. But you could paint these with paint brushes, foam brushes, however you want to do it. Look how stinking cute. Look how cute it's gonna look once we glue it together. Looks like candy corn. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but that's what happened. Uh, okay. Let's do, now we gotta do these guys. Okay. See, I got a little bit of burnt umber and a little bit of white, and I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap and give it, it gives it this kind of, uh, I guess modeled, this modeled texture to it. See how pretty it is? It's not so just a flat color, but you can do it however you want to do it. This one's going to be a little turquoisey and a little bit of white. You have to turn them so you can get your sponge to kind of do right. Do a candy corn one. I know, and I, I did that one. I didn't mean to, but he kind of looks like candy corn. Kind of looks like candy corn. Don't they have like a... A turquoise pumpkin at Halloween, or it means you have allergies, or what's it mean? I can't remember. So I put a little bit of burnt umber on him and white. He looks really cute. Okay. So just blend it all in. Now we got to do this one over here. Let's do... I'm going to find all my sponges. I'm going to do orange on him. So you can just kind of take your sponge and just kind of drag it in the curve and make that curve like it's stuck to the next pumpkin. Let's find me some burnt umber up in here. Just have fun, look at it. See, I'm putting a little burnt umber on him. Okay, there it is. All these little dudes are about dry. Uh, well, I got burnt umber out there. I don't need any more of that. Yes, Linda, they're going to be in the shop. As soon as I get finished, um, they're going to be in the shop. Okay, now, we're going to, I'm going to show y'all we're going to do the stems. Just going to take the corner of it and just sort of paint his little stem. Like that. Okay, now, this is how I go around the edges with my sponge. I don't use the stamp. I'm, I'm wiping off a good bit of that paint. And then I'm just going to do like this. Just kind of, I'm holding it at an angle. And then I'm just tap, tap, tap. And I know you can't see it because it's, see how it gives him some dimension around the edges? Makes it kind of look three-dimensional. So I'm going to do that to all of these pieces. Just tap, tap, tap on the edge 
and paint the sponge. Oh, it means that you have stuff that doesn't have allergies. I knew it was something like that, like um, that you have treats that don't have like peanuts and that type stuff. Yeah, I knew it was something to that effect. I couldn't remember. And then we're gonna do the back side. I know y'all are like, oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I get so many people that ask, like, how did you paint it like that? Or can you show me how you did that? Um, so cute. And I hardly ever do this. Um, paint some of my stuff live. But so I got my stem. And then I'm just kind of, kind of go pounce around the edges with barely any paint on my sponge. Just whatever's left. I just kind of go around the edges at an angle and it gives it that dark kind of rusty kind of look so see this is before and then we'm going to show you what it looks like after after I paint it how what a difference it makes just to go around that edge like that it gives it that dimension and realistic kind of look I guess is what I'm kind of going for So see the difference? It just gives it a little bit of a more of a dimension for your eyes to kind of go to. So I'm just putting some on there and then pouncing it off, doing my stems. And I'm just kind of barely just holding it at an angle and just pouncing right on the edge. So your sponge just kind of hits the, hits the front side. Is that all of them? Nope, one more. Then we're going to work on the back. That's the fun part. Not that this isn't fun. Oh, I just got turquoise on him. And I'm going to have to... Somebody needs to get some of these in the mail, right? Some happy mail. Oh, nope. I lied. Okay. So there he is. Not done. Just barely, barely, barely. Don't get turquoise on your sponge. And then just kind of hit around the edge. Just barely. That sponge just kind of falls over the edge if you tap it. It just kind of bounces over the side. Like that. And it just gives it that rusty kind of look. More realistic, I guess. It's the word I'm hunting. See? Y'all will be able to see better in the pictures. And I got turquoise on him when I show you the pictures. Okay. There they all are. So, now we got to paint the back sides. All right. Let's find some happy mail people. Happy mail people. Teresa Hicks. What if you use fluorescent paint now that would be awesome what if you did the eyes glow in the dark oh my goodness Teresa is T-H-E Hicks I will send you your very own set in the mail happy mail okay I think I'm gonna glue first and then paint uh oh be all right okay so that's how it's gonna look is that not adorable yeah you can see the colors once you stain it's really awesome all right and I see a spot black that I need to hit underneath his mouth that I missed okay You can see a Halloween something. No, a garland. Yes. You can do that too. You can do whatever you want to with them. Okay. So, if you've ever seen me glue these together. Yes, that's my number right here. If you want to get on my texting. And I always text usually when um, I go live and when I restock. So, I just put little dots of super glue gel. I don't know if you can see it. All on the back. 
just don't put it close to the holes where it won't run in the holes. And then you just, you get it, set it down. And you have a few seconds to kind of move it around before it actually starts setting up. Okay, so I'm gonna set this one to the side. And let's find his match. Here he is. So cute. This set right here that I'm doing, it may have to go to somebody's house. What do y'all think? <laughs> y'all want the one that I painted? Oh, Sandy doesn't have a knee replacement? Yeah, that's tough surgery. That's big surgery. Okay. All right. So look at, look at how stinking cute. I just love their faces. That's what gets me is their faces. So I just put little dots of the super glue gel. And I love the gel just because it gives you a little le a leeway of some time to kind of get it in position. It's not just instantaneously stuck. All right. So there's that one. Oh, kind of moved it. All right. Look at how cute. But yes, couldn't you see their eyes like glow in the dark? Eyes would be so cool. <laughs> Tina wants the one I've painted. Yeah, let's see. We'll have to do that. Okay. Here's the big boy. He's the big boy. And I didn't even tell y'all how big they were. Um, the big pumpkin is two and two and three quarters wide. And then the top, he, the tallest one is three inches tall. He's the tallest one. Um, that's how big they are. Look how cute he is. <laughs> Lisa's like, I can send you my address and we can work something out. Okay. But this stuff dries really fast. The glue does. So you don't have to, it's like instant gratification. You glue it down, wait a few minutes and it's done. That's what I'm all about. I like some instant. Okay. You don't have to wait like E6000. Thank you, Maureen. I really love these pumpkins. I just love. <laughs> Lily says, I'll take that one. Then you won't have to paint it. Okay. Let's see? See, we still gotta do this side. All right. Get all my little dudes done together and then we'll start on the back side. Hmm. And of course, I'm gonna do them the same colors as the printables. Oh, you have no volume, but you're watching, bless her. Thank y'all for hanging out with me though, because I know this is taking time, but um, let me get mine out of the way. I think I'm done. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. Yes. All right, so they're glued together. Okay, because I got some tri tips to show y'all how to make the little ridges. Do you see the little ribs, the little lines and stuff? We're gonna do all that with makeup sponge, all of it. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up my, I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna cheat sheet and look at this. But I need my parchment, hold on. My parchment, where's my parchment? Hold on, y'all don't go anywhere. Where's the parchment color? Parchment, parchment, where are you? Here we are. It's kind of an off-white color, it's called antique parchment, yeah antique parchment. I like that color. That's kind of what I used on the white pumpkins. All right. So I got my whole palette of all my paints and sponges out. Here. <laughs> and I just kind of dip in different color oranges. And like I said, I'm just going to kind of pounce around with my sponge. And that kind of gives it that uh, dimensional where it's and it's like, see, I put that white on there, but then I just kind of keep pouncing around and it just kind of wants to make it blend. 
And that's how you get that look to where it looks textured, but it's actually not. It's just paint. But you're basically building those layers of paint. A little bit more white. Okay. I know that looks weird on camera, but once I take pictures, you won't, um, it won't look weird. And I'll go a little bit. So don't be scared to kind of mix your colors and do some different colors of orange and make it kind of realistic looking. All right, so there's that one. All right, so now this is antique parchment. It's not white, but it's just, it's like an off-white. It, when you pour it out, it's not far from white. There's another sponge. I got 10 sponges out here. Did you paint the drawers behind me? Uh, the little plastic ones, these? Hold on. These? No, that's actually just, uh, paper, uh, poster board. <laughs> and I painted it with this and cut it to fit and it covers up all my junk. Just like that, see? Whoop. It just covers up all my junk. Oh, you bought shirts from Stacy? I know, they're awesome. Okay, so let's do my parchment. So I got my parchment on there. Now, see the difference? It's just a little bit off-white. And kind of get it covered first. Like that. Isn't that pretty? See, it's it's not really white, but it's not cream. It's it's an in between. And then I'm just gonna take my sponge and round it down to where it looks like that other. You know, it's kind of in front of that pumpkin. You could you could put hot glue on there and make your little ribs. You sure could, and then paint over it. That would look real interesting. All right, I got just a titch. That's just a little bit of burnt umber, and then I'm gonna dip it right back into my into my parchment, and then I'm just gonna start blending it out. Just like you're putting on makeup on somebody's face, you just start kind of blending it out and blur it all together. I know y'all really can't see that, but it looks really cool. All right, and where is my blue? I'm gonna get interesting and I'm gonna put just a drop, if even that much, of this apple tart, or you can use parakeet from Apple Barrel. It's kind of the same, that's kind of what the same thing. And I'm gonna put that in my blue. And it's gonna give it a a more of a sagey or green color. It's gonna be pretty. I love to sit here and paint these things though. It's so much fun. See, it's kind of a, it's turning kind of a greenish color. And then I'm dabbing it in the white just a little bit. And then I just kind of start pouncing it all around. And it just gives it this texturedy kind of look. And the more you pounce, it just kind of blurs all those little splotches together. I don't know if y'all can see it. You can't see it as good on the camera, but just add some white, add a little green, and just start pouncing it around, and it just kind of blends it together. Cute. Okay. So I got that one. Let's paint this little guy. Let's do him. So there's the front of him. Now we're doing the back. This takes just no time. It's so much fun. See, look at all those colors. I got green and white and blue in there. And then the more you sit here and just kind of pounce it into the wood, it just blurs it out. And you don't see those little corner marks or anything like that. And it just gives it that look of being textured, but it's not, it's just paint. So pretty. Let's see if I can get y'all to be able to see it. Let's see. 
it's hard to show y'all on here, but it's so pretty. Okay, there's that one. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Where's the yellow? Where's my king's gold? All right, here's big boy. <laughs> I'm putting some king's gold and several oranges all on here together. So y'all get to see it just come to life right here before your eyes. <laughs> yeah, that way they're all different and they're not gonna be the same. They're not even gonna be the same as the ones I've already painted. They all, they're all gonna look different and have their own little personality. And I'm gonna throw some, some burnt umber in there. Just don't be afraid to mix it all up and make it a little different. Except for when you do that. <laughs> Except for when your sponge dips into the turquoise and then then um, you get that. Which doesn't look bad, but <laughs> you get it on your sponge and where did my sponge go? Yeah, you get it on your sponge and then you end up with it on your pumpkin. And so now I got to hold it like this. I'm doing it again. Hold on. Okay. Snip them off. Don't waste it. So I'm just tappy tappy. See how it looks all mingled and mottled looking? All right, let's do, I'm just gonna go right in, same sponge, I just went right into that. And I got this original kind of a peachy looking muted that we painted that other big pumpkin with, uh, with the printable. I'm just doing that. Hey Diane, I'm good, glad you hopped on. I'm just painting, this is a real long live. I got too many sponges out here. But I wanted to show how I paint my pumpkins and then we're going to go around the edges and do the stems and I'll show y'all how I did the little rib things. Ooh, see how much white I got on that one? But just keep, you're not messing it up. Just put some more paint and just keep tapping. And it'll all just start blending in together. So don't worry if you get some kind of crazy looking pattern on there. Cause it'll all, it'll all just come together and look all dimensional. See? Okay. Two, one, two, three, four, five, two more. Um, I don't have a parchment color one yet. Where's my parchment? All right, we're gonna paint him parchment. So I'm just gonna paint him solid and then I'll go in and start doing some other color. Let's see. Just a little bitty bit of burnt umber. But see how it, it, you just keep pouncing and it just kind of buffs it out. That's a better word, I guess. It blurs it to where it's not so in your face. It's so pretty. I know that doesn't, you can't really see it good. All right. Let's do one more turquoise one. And green. This one's got orange and turquoise on it, so just kind of going with it. See what happens. Try not to get the orange in there. Kind of new here, been watching in the background. Really enjoy your craft. Oh, you're so sweet. I didn't say your name. But welcome, if you're new. I did some crafts ahead of time and now I'm just showing how to paint my little pumpkins that are in my shop. All right. See how pretty? Ta-da! Looks really pretty. Make one yellow. Oh, I'm all out now. I should have. Okay. So now I'm gonna show y'all how to do the little, the little rib things. 
the lines and like that. Let's see, which one is dry? That one needs some more paint. Hold on. Some spots that I missed. It soaks it up too. Yeah, these colors are just happy because they match the printables. All right, so I'm gonna start with a brand new sponge, okay? So I told y'all how to do the edge where you just put some on there and then I'm just gonna tap some off on a plate because I don't want it gobbed up on there. And I'm gonna do the edges just like I did earlier. So see, this is before. We're just gonna kinda go around do the stem. Just kind of hit that stem with that paint. How long have we been on? Wow, we've been on a while. Lindy and I were on for two hours and 20 minutes the other Sunday. <laughs> we were having such a good time. Did y'all watch that one? Um, where we made the little pumpkin stack and the candy corn. And somebody asked earlier where I got that fabric. I want to say I got it from Walmart last year, but, um, I, Hobby Lobby probably has it. Okay. So here is the edges. I know y'all can't see it real well. Now I'm going to show y'all how I make the little ribs. So you use this side to paint with, and then I'm going to use this side. The little bitty skinny part. I kind of found this out on accident. When I was painting my set. I was like, that works really well. Okay. Alright. So you're going to put some on there. And you're going to dab it off. So you're going to use it kind of like just a stamp. Okay. So I'm going to curl it. Like this. And then I'm just going to kind of go. Bump, bump. And then I'm going to turn it and see, I got it curled like that. And I'm just going to kind of go bump, bump. And make my little finger bobbers, whatever they're, ribs. Yeah, Laney, it was fun. We had a lot of fun. And then for the long pumpkin, I'm just going to kind of drag it down. I'm going to just kind of curl it still. But then I'm just going to kind of barely touch it to it and then drag it you know, in that arc kind of motion. So you get the essence of the ribs, but you don't get the full, you know, you're not making straight lines. And I'm kind of curling it like that and holding it. And then I'm just gonna do that side. See, nothing to it. It's easy, I promise. You can do it. And you can practice on some paper or something if you want to before you actually paint it on there. And if you do, you don't like it, sand it off, start all over. It's wood. It's not going to hurt it. All right, let me get some. Let me do my stem. And I'll show y'all again. Where's my burnt umber? So it's real um, easy. Just you, let the sponge work for you and do its thing, and you just kind of control where it's going. All right, so I got my stem. And then you just, you know, pounce around the edges, and you can do it as heavy as you want, and you don't even have to do it at all. It's just, that's just how I did mine, and I'll get people ask me, how did you do yours to look like that? See, it makes so much difference. To me, it does. But if you do it the way you want to do it, you don't have to do it the way I do it. All right, so there again, I'm gonna curl it just a little, just kind of pinch it in and just barely kind of tap it down. And I got a big glob on the end. And if it comes off too heavy, like that one just did, just wipe it off. But to me, it just adds a little character and it looks, it looks natural. It doesn't look like you just painted it on there. It looks like it's just kind of uh, abstract looking almost and I'm just going to use the end and just tap on these y'all been hanging out for a while now 
I appreciate it. Okay. Let's see. So I'm just on this one, I'm just going to curl it again. And I'm just going to kind of lightly just kind of drag it in that arc kind of motion. And it makes that little line. But practice. You could practice on some paper. But like I said, if you get it and it's it gets too much, either paint over it or just sand it off and start all over. See? So easy. Well, I found out the sponge trick on accident. It was kind of a light bulb moment. Like, oh, that's so cool. That looked kind of neat. <laughs> Didn't really intend for that to happen because I was kind of getting down to the end of my sponge and I was trying to finish with what I had instead of getting another sponge and it just kind of ended up that way. And like I said, if you get kind of heavy handed or, you know, sand it off, paint over it, let it dry and paint over it, it'll be fine. All right. So I'm going to, so I'm just pinching it kind of like this and it just curls it up like that. And then I just kind of dab it. And you can just put some here and there. And I know that looks like it's real def de definite on the camera, but I promise it doesn't. It doesn't look that way on here. It just, I don't know, it's weird on the camera. So there's my stem. And then you just kind of go all around. This gives it some shading, I guess. Watching you craft, you learn a lot. <laughs> I've been doing it a long time. I make it look easy. Well, like I said, practice first and on something. And you'll get the hang of it. See? And you don't have to do it the way I'm doing it. You can definitely use a paintbrush. Like I said, this was just a happy accident that happened for me to find that out. One more. Nope, two more. Look, I forgot to paint that one. How did that happen? Ooh. See, I got heavy handed, so I'm just gonna take my sponge and kind of wipe some of it off, the clean part. <laughs> Baby wipe will probably take it off too. If you get too much, just kind of wipe it off. It's not permanent. You can sand it down to the bare wood if you want to and start again. That's the good part about it. It's, it's wood. It's not, you know, flimsy. It's not, you know, cheap feeling. It is solid wood. So see, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just kind of want that rough looking thing. And look. <laughs> Somebody said do one yellow. Let's do this one yellow. Where's the yellow? him really quick. <laughs> Can you tell I've ordered from her before? And I appreciate y'all so very much for ordering. So I got that one yellow. And then y'all said do candy corn. So here we go. I'm going to try to just do it a little bit like candy corn, but not totally. Forgot to paint this little guy. He got left out of the bunch. How dare I leave him out? <laughs> All right, parchment. Yeah, if it's got masking, I see somebody talking about the masking on it, yes. And you just kind of either pick it up with your fingernail or like a little Cricut tool or something, and that will work. All right, I'm gonna let him dry. Dimension, yes. All right, let's see. Y'all have hung out for a while. Regina Hines, will you seal them with anything? Regina, if you message me, you will get a set of Happy Mail. H-I-N-E-S. I will send you a set. Yes, I, you don't have to seal them unless you just want to seal them. That's totally up to you. But look how stinking cute these are, guys. Y'all look. Ta-da. 
reversible. I just love it. So when you put the fall out, turn around when Halloween comes, and then turn it back around when you go to Thanksgiving. So cute. I just love that little guy right there. He's so funny with his blue self. But how cute is it going to look? Y'all, I can't even. I'm going to have to put these up tonight or tomorrow or something with all of my cute printables. It's going to be so stinking adorable. How adorable is that? I told Stacy, I was like, girl, you made them just for me. Let me turn him around. See, look how stinking cute that is. Cute, cute, cute. You can't wait to make a set. I know, I love this. I think it is adorable. And if you wanted to put scrapbook paper on yours and do like the, there's a pen on there, and do, do your buffalo check and all that on your pumpkins, you could totally do that. That's what I was talking about with the masking. You could put the, use that as a template and you could just Mod Podge scrapbook paper on here. You don't have to paint it. And they would be adorable, adorable. But yes, they stand on their own. So they're just kind of like this. This one, you kind of have to hold your mouth right, but you may have to lean him on something. I couldn't get him flat on the bottom to where he would stand because he's kind of top heavy anyway, but he will stand if you hold your mouth right. But you can prop him. But anyway, y'all love this. I'm going to be staying up to midnight getting my chair trace all fixed. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I need to paint buffalo check pumpkin. I know, I know. I, I don't do it the tape way. I just do it the, um, the kind of the not cheat way. I just do it rough-handed. Um, I don't really do it the tape method. I haven't ever tried the tape method because I'll be honest, it confuses me. Um, it really does. Trying to take this off and put it over here. And about the time I think I have it, I'm like, oh, I'm confused again. <laughs> I'll be honest. Let me do this last one. So I'm just dabbing around the edges. It's so easy. And let me get my... All right, so I got my little sponge again. I gotta make some little ones on this one. Some big ones. So you just barely want enough paint on there just to make a little, a little mark. And when I post the pictures, y'all will be able to see it does, it looks weird on the camera, but on the pictures, it's going to look better when I post pictures. Hey, Deborah. Oh, Luann, you were, I'm glad you learned a lot. I'm glad you did. What is an ugly face? I don't know. I don't know what she's talking about. If somebody did an ugly, ugly face, it'll be all right. They just get happy. As soon as I get off, I'm going to walk over to my laptop right over there. And I'm going to click a button, and the pumpkins will be there. So, they're under the miscellaneous tab in my shop. Um, it's uh, turquoise, not the, but just turquoise-valentine.myshopify.com. And it's on the, my main page at the top. It's a, little pink, it's a pinned link at the top. So, yes, I hope, I hope y'all do the printables. They're so stinking cute, y'all. Look, I got, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm ready for fall. I'm going to set my whole my whole deal up on my tray, and I'm ready to go. I ain't even got to get in the attic because <laughs> it's all done. So I'll tell you what. This set I just painted, let's pick somebody to get Happy Mail. Margo Malcheski. Margo, message me, and you are going to get this set that I just did. So, Margo, let's see, M-A-L-C-H-E-S-K-I. Let me write here what it is. Send me your address to the page, and I will send you happy mail, and um, you will be getting this set that I just did. Yay! I have you on a speed order, <laughs> Brenda. You're so funny. Oh! I don't, well, that bow has done come off two times tonight. He don't want to stay on there. 
You ordered four sets from Stacy. Bless your heart, Kathy. You can't, they're, they're all cute. All of her fall ones are cute. And I keep telling her, I'm like, okay, you need to do one like this and do one like this. And she's like, oh my gosh, all the ideas. I just can't, I can't keep them all straight. Yes, Margo. So just message my page. If I called your name, it would be Tammy Holmes Carnell. She's getting the iron as Happy Mail. Teresa Hicks and Regina Hines are getting a blank set. And then Margo Malcheski is getting the one I just painted. So y'all congrats. Y'all hung out with me and I so appreciate it. Um, and if you didn't know, all my videos go to YouTube, like tonight, I'll load this one up, and I'll, everything's there, so if that's easy for y'all to find, but of course, they're always here, so if you order a set and you get your set, um, you can always come back to this and watch how I did it, so it's, um, it's here for you all the time. Thank you, Diane, y'all are so sweet. Okay, check Savvy Sisters. I have friends that do the check method, and I've seen lots of ways it's been done, and I just, <laughs> I just can't get a grip. I just freehand it. Of course, it doesn't look as neat, but sometimes it's appropriate not for it to be neat. But I admire the people that can just whip it out and do it, because I just, that's just, I don't have to practice. I've never tried it. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. It was so much fun to create all of this cuteness. Um, go check out the shirts. Go check out the printables. Stacy's got it going on over there. Stacy's got it going on. And all this cute, I'm ready to go with my tear tray stuff already. Um, and you don't have to have a tear tray. Just put it in a dough bowl. Set it around your house. Entry table. And I got to clean up all this paint. <laughs> but anyway, so thank y'all for hanging out. I appreciate it. I love each one of y'all. Wouldn't, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for any of y'all. Um, so I sure appreciate it, and y'all have a good night, and I will see y'all Monday, if not before then. You never know. I might go somewhere and find something interesting. Uh, the printables, Mary, if you'll click that little link right there that's pinned at the bottom, we'll show our collections. That'll take you to her shop. So I did the work for you. It's already there. Good night, Robin. Can you post the colors of paint that I used? Yes, I will. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> I'll do that in the morning when I post a picture. Um, and I will post the colors because it's a whole bunch. <laughs> I'll just take a picture of them. All right, guys. Y'all have a good night. See y'all Monday. Have a good weekend. Be safe. Bye, guys.